Hi, I'm Rick Brimacombe of Club E. I started the group in 2007 and you can find us now in multiple locations. Enjoy today's video. Going digital marketing. Um, the world we're in now is changing, obviously, and folks need to, uh, if they weren't already online, get online. Uh, lots of opportunities in the e-commerce world. Um, but uh, for an entrepreneur who's, who's uh, either um, getting going or maybe not super sophisticated, what kinds of uh, technologies do they need to put together in a tech stock to um, help things run smoothly? And, and what are some of the tools that they need to be aware of? Yeah, so this is a, this is a good question that we actually heard a lot of lately. Like, how, how, do we, how do we actually get online? If you have a product or a service or whatever, but you have never done anything online, right? A lot of people are now discovering that the internet uh, exists, amazingly. But not only that it exists, but it's actually a tool. It's not just a, a luxury anymore. Now it's, it's an essential for businesses to stay alive. You almost have to be online. Um, I'm going to throw a couple acronyms out there, but I'll try and go slow. So the first thing that I would get as a part of your technology stack is what's called a content management system, um, often known as a website. A content management system is something like Shopify or WordPress. It allows you to build a website without having to hard code every element of your website, right? Super easy to use. Uh, both Shopify and WordPress out of the box have uh, millions of tutorial videos all over YouTube, and you don't necessarily need to hire someone to put a basic website online. Now, both those platforms can get very technical very quickly, at which point, um, depending on how intricate you want to get, you might want to you know, consult with somebody. The other one that um, can be hit or miss is, you know, they call it a CRM, a contact resource management database, something like HubSpot or Zoho or Salesforce. Those are tools that allow you to keep all of your contacts in one place online. And oftentimes they hook into what's called a marketing automation tool. Marketing automation allows you to send emails or text messages or know where or how often your customers have bought from you, scheduling, um, you know, chat bots on the website so they can interact with you. That all happens through, you know, CRMs and marketing automation tools. A sure. good example of marketing automation tools that are really popular is HubSpot. Uh, MailChimp is one with their email systems. You have something like Entreport where they can build landing pages, build ads, and all sync together to your emailing. Um, another really popular thing to get, a really important thing to get, especially right now, is some kind of team collaboration tools. I'll throw a couple more out there. There's Microsoft Teams, which has uh, some really um, good offers right now during the coronavirus pandemic going on. There's uh, Slack, which is a really popular, has been for a long time, instant messaging kind of platform. There's Basecamp, which is what Romaine Berg actually uses. Uh, and there's another program called Trello, which is really popular. Uh, Rick, you and I are on a, a Trello board together with a mutual client. Um, and the last thing I think is important is some kind of data data analytics or data management platform where um, if you're going to have a website and you're going to drive people to your website, it's really important to know what they're doing. So a free tool, Google Analytics. It takes 30 seconds to install it on your website. It's very important to have on there to know what is going on. Um, if you want to get more technical, there's programs like SEM Rush, but I would not call that an essential to, go, to get, get started. But... If you want to summarize everything I just said, a website, uh, a, a customer database, uh, some kind of team collaboration tool, and, and data, Google Analytics. Okay.